And the last speakers aren't on your program, but I'm very pleased that they agreed to speak. Deb Evans' son, Eden, is featured in the learning materials. If any of you have had a look at it, you'll see something about her son. And Deb is going to talk about her son and the fact that institutions are not dead. Hi, hi everyone. Um, I wasn't expecting to speak, so um, you have to excuse me. It's very, very upsetting for me. The, the film is to a T exactly of Eden's life, as, as it stands now, um, the same. Um, boxes and boxes in this middle room of papers I can't even go into. Oh, I, and my whole kitchen table, the last 10 years, just papers upon papers and he has autism, um, he has mild learned disability, that's what they, they say they put it at. But this, I, I, I've been institutionalised myself because of what they've done to my son. So what happens is I, I kind of believe, when I hear someone say, they're going out and they're doing a theatre play or they're doing something like that. I, I find it unbelievable that they're allowed to do something like that because obviously my, my son Eden has never been able to do these things. Uh, it's important as well, I'm listening to about education because Eden wasn't offered an education from when he was eight. We moved boroughs, we moved to Hammersmith and Fulham to a bungalow I had three other children, I thought it would be better for him. Um, the other kids did suffer a bit, but I thought it would be better for Eden and he'd get help with schooling. They failed to provide any schooling for him, so I kept him at home for a number of years. But I'll jump forward a bit. He's a lovely boy, he's now 25, coming up a week before Christmas, 170 miles away. We can see him once every two weeks. Um, we go four trains and a minibus up to Causton. It's, it's diabolical. His other family haven't seen him for years, grandparents, because no one can visit. And he's just kept, and I know you mentioned the word retard, but I have to mention this word because it is so used still. And although he is allowed outside in grounds, because there are a number of people there that are there for serious criminal offences. If Eden is seen to be outside, these other people, that's what they call Eden. And they use strong chemical kosh on him. And although he's um, with, with it a lot of the time, he can get some words out and he can tell me how he feels. The, the injections he has, which he's been on now for five years, um, this pro pixel is banned in America and Canada and yet they're getting away with still injecting it into him where he's put on 18 stone and then they're sending me letters that I can't bring him in a bag of sweets that it's my fault that I'm contributing to his weight problem and if I want to take anything you know I can only take a sandwich you know he, he's kept abysmally and things, things have got to change he, you know he wants to come out he wants his own flat. I've managed to convince him of that, but it's all to do with money. They're paying so much money to keep him there each week. He's not learning anything. He doesn't do anything. And his health and his hygiene is just deteriorated. And all he has ever wanted is a friend. He just wanted a friend. And he loves music. He loves drum and bass. Um, he used to really, really love music when he was at home. Um, my gran and my, and my great-gran are both teachers. My oldest daughter, she's a secondary teacher. So there's, there's all this education in the family, but I can't get any help whatsoever. I've had so many organisations try to help. And he was kept in a room at his previous place for five and a half years with no toilet. So it took him the last sort of two years to learn that he's allowed to come out of his room because he now has a toilet. And so he has gained a toilet, but he has also lost communication because there's no signal where he is. It's difficult to get phone calls into there. 
So you, you gain something, but then you lose something else. And, and it's just so cruel, this system. And, you, you know, it deserves to come out. Again, I think people will probably talk to you about it after. Thanks ever so much. Thank you. Thank you.